western Minnesota this morning for day three of the Rooster Road Trip. And as you can see on the horizon, we're in Buffalo Ridge country, one of the windiest places in the country. And we came here when there's a predicted 30, 40, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds today. But we're gonna go pheasant hunting in the high winds. Let's see what happens one way or another. It's gonna be fun. started with us pushing due north uh, with a strong west wind and we encountered a, a little wetland slough area and the, the group kind of split in two. Um, I went to the west side with PF Buffalo Ridge Chapter President Jeff Davis and our PF Farm Bill Wildlife Biologist Megan Howell and uh, it didn't take long for them to get into a, a rooster. Uh, Jeff's GWP Berta pointed it beautifully and, and held that bird pinned down for at least 45 seconds. It gave him plenty of time to get up in there. And then uh, Megan's Brock showed up and the bird just couldn't take the pressure anymore. Got up and Megan dropped it with, with one shot. And after that, the group kept, kept pushing north. Didn't kick up anything else until we swung into the wind coming from the west. And things got a little nutty along a cut uh, bean field. And I on him. So we're running a bird up the hill. The likeliness is that it, as those folks come across the cornfield edge, could be pinching out a bird, squeeze it up. So, I think it's gone. We sat point after point after point. Unfortunately, there were, there were nothing but hens. It was, it was a lot of fun to watch, though. So from there, we continued to circle to the south, and well, we kicked up two more roosters, but we don't have two more roosters in, in the game bag. There were a few more shots had, and we scared him pretty good, I'm sure. And uh, well, sometimes that's how it goes, and I guess that just means we, we left a few out here for you. side along the corn edge and uh, kind of run into some willows there and uh, push the birds out of the willows but in the 45 mile an hour wind they were up and gone quicker than you could get a gun up. Uh, so that's kind of how we ended the day. Uh, the south portion of that, that quarter didn't produce as many birds but as we kind of came to the end I think it's like always we got within a couple hundred yards of the truck and what we do pushed up a bird. The wind was there but you always have to contend with something. If it's not the wind, it's the snow. If it's not the snow, it's the sunshine. I mean, they're, they're, we, we as hunters always have an excuse. So that's kind of how the day went. And uh, But all in all, you know, there were six of us out there and, and we had a great time. And, and that's all part of hunting, uh, getting together with your buddies and, and a little camaraderie. 